Hi everybody and welcome back to the Creative Kindergarten YouTube channel. My name is Amanda and today I'm going to be talking to you about making transparent shapes that you can use in your Google Slide or Google Jamboard activities. In my last video I was showing a few of my Google Slides and Google Jamboard activities that have this. I will link that video for you in the uh, description if you want to go check that out. But I had a couple people ask me how I actually made those shapes so I thought I'd do a quick little tutorial to show you how. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip you around so that you can see my computer screen. So the first thing I wanted to do was show you what I'm actually talking about. So it's these circle shapes that you can see at the bottom of the screen on this Jamboard. When I move them around, you can actually still see the sight words through the transparent shapes. And so I had a few people ask me how I made those. I made them for both Jamboard and Google Slides. If this is a product that you're interested in, this cover to sight word, I will also link that in the show notes for you down below. But it's really easy to make these. And so I use PowerPoint. Um, this is how I know how to do it. It's through PowerPoint. I'm sorry if you do not have PowerPoint. But this is how I know how to make them. So what you're going to do is you're going to insert any shape. I use circles because I like like, you know, circle the sight word or cover the sight word, but you can use any of the shapes. And you're just going to start off by just drawing one and then right clicking on it and going to format shape. And then here's where you're going to be able to change the shape around to make it transparent. You can make it any color you want and you can kind of play around with um, how transparent you want to make it as well. So you're going to want it to be a solid fill and you can pick any color. I'm just going to pick this purple color. And then I also like to have an outline around it to make sure that, um, you know, you can still see the outline when the center is uh, transparent. And then all you're going to do is over here is change the transparency. Um, I think I had it set between like 70 and 80%. And then if you make the um, outline bigger, it just kind of makes it look a little bit better. Like you actually have, you know, an outline around the transparent shape. And that's basically all you have to do. If you want to make sure it's an actual like circle circle, you can come to the size and see how it's, I almost had it right on to make it a, a perfect circle, but not quite. So you can make sure it's a circle there. If you're doing a square, make sure it's a square there. But that's all you have to do. You just have to change the color to match the color that you want, make an outline, and then uh, set the transparency. And you've got your, your transparent shape. You can duplicate um, and copy and paste these shapes over and then just change the color that you have in them. So let's say you want a yellow one and it's really easy to make the different ones. Now, if you wanna use these transparent shapes in your Google Slides or your Google uh, Jamboard, all you have to do is save them as an image so that you can upload them into the slider Jamboard. So you're gonna right click on it and you're just going to save it as picture and you can save it anywhere that you're going to be able to find it on your computer. Um, I'm going to save it to my desktop so I can actually find it. Um, I'm just going to name it purple so that I know which one it is. And now you're ready to add it to your Google slide. So I'm going to show you another little trick here. If you go slide dot new in your address bar, it's actually going to just pull up a brand new Google slide presentation for you without having to like go and find one and you know, make, a new uh, slide that also works for docs. So you can do doc.new. If you need to start up a really quick Google meet, all you have to do is type in meet.new and it'll bring up a brand new Google meet. Now that we're in the uh, Google slide, all you have to do is go to insert image and upload it from your computer. And you're just going to go back and find that transparent shape that you just saved. And now you have a transparent shape for your Google slide or your Jamboard. Um, those are the two that I've tried it on. Uh, just to see if it works, but um, let's see. I'm just gonna put circle here just so I can show you that it is transparent. You're going to have to make sure that the the shape that you choose is in the like the uh, is brought to the front of everything so that you know it's not sliding behind. But now you've got this, and you can see it's the transparent shape that um, will go on top of the words or pictures that you have as long as it's in front of the text or the other images on your slide. So I hope that's helpful to you and that answers the questions about your um, making some transparent shapes. Other people had asked me how I made it like never ending where we, I just had um, a ton that students could put and it felt like it was never ending. There's just a lot of them like piled one on top of the other. I just like copied and pasted them or duplicated them so many times and piled them one in front of the other that it looks like it's never ending, but it's not actually never ending. There's just a lot of them there. So I hope that was helpful to, for you. If you have any questions, make sure you leave me a comment down below. If you like videos, 
videos like these, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm always trying to put out new content to help other educators, you know, learn something new or try something new on the computers or anything like that. So make sure you're following me. Leave me a comment if there's anything else you'd like to see from me. And yeah, thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you guys next time.